Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to show you how to do a quick uh, Hello World program in Revit. Okay, uh, just going to go here, click, and this is all it's going to do. It's going to say Hello World, and you're going to get the title, or I guess like the dialog box title, instruction, and then if you have any other content stuff in it. Um, you'll see these pop up a lot in Revit, you know, usually if you get an error, or uh, <laughs> usually it's just errors. Uh, save, you know, stuff like that. Um, but they can be helpful, you know, in terms of uh, alerting the user, you know, in terms of things to do, yes, no's. Um, they are fairly limited, though, uh, in their scope. Uh, in order to get more functionality out of them, you have to end up going to Windows Form, Windows Forms, I think, WinForms. Uh, I did a program on it where I created a sheet scheduler, and that's where I ended up using it. Um, but yeah, we'll see it there when we get to it. But for now, let's do this guy. All right, so I'm going to close this down, start from scratch. Uh, Stop you. Alright, also, uh, so uh, all the helpful links that I used to get this, um, I'll of course put in the show notes. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, file new. New project, here we go. I'm going to use this guy next. I'm going to do hello world tutorial. Go. And sounds good. Right, also, uh, so when we set this up, right, so we changed the initial set of files, so it's a little different from Jeremy's. And then also, um, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we got, first thing we're going to go to is app, right? This is our app that we did when we, um, in one of the first videos when we set it up, right? So first we have to install this guy. So all or option enter, and then that's going to ask you to install using Presentation Core. Great. So he's in, that bug's going to go away, All right? And then in here, this is where we're going to change the name of our button. Okay, so this we're going to do hello world. That's it. And then here we're also going to change hello world so we know which one we're clicking. And then hello world again, okay? All right, uh, it's good, it's good, it's good. All right, and this is going to be the name of our tab that's going to pop up in to Move forward. Okay, so next one, command. All right, so remember we had changed the files before, so this is what ours looks like, or mine looks like now at least. Um, if not, no worries. You're just, you know, you can change uh, your server you want, or you can leave it and just make sure you know you have using, try, and the transaction start. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna do. Uh, okay, new task dialog. It's the new task dialog. Task dialog demonstration. So it's going to go, um, it's kind of like the name of it, All right? And from there now on, we can just address everything as td dot whatever we want. So td dot title, and then we're gonna say this is the hello world title. Allow so we're gonna allow them cancellation. Keep in mind, I also have this already typed out before, just so. I don't have this all in my head, I wish I did, but <laughs> we're not there yet. Alright, so I'm gonna walk you guys through this stuff. Okay. Oops. Didn't like that one. Remember, semicolons are kind of like the periods right after every sentence in this case, so that's how we use them. Um, and this stuff is a message related stuff. And td.main instruction. This is the main instruction. T 
td.main contents. This is where you're going to put like the uh, the main part of whatever you have in here, right? So whether it's an error notification or stuff like that, and it's going to be the main content. And then, and these are going to allow for buttons, right? And so we're going to do td.command buttons. Common buttons, I bet. There we go. And so we're going to allow dot cancel. You can see actually a couple of them pop up right there. Oops. Dot. So you got cancel. Okay, none. Retry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we're going to do cancel. And then we're going to use a pipe character to separate for another one. And we're going to do common buttons. Dot OK. Yep. And then pipe again. And then task dialog buttons dot close. Yep. And then something cool enough to the end of that one. And then slash slash. Oh, now we're, telling, now we're going to tell it to show up. Dialog. And I can't spell it. <laughs> we're going to do that. Show up. And we're going to just do uh, test dialog result. And we're going to call that tdres equal to td.show. All right, and that's it. We got to commit at the end of that transaction. Yes, we do. Great. Open it up, and then that's almost done. And lastly, lastly, we got to go to the add-ins. All right. So remember, we got to block out the commands, right? Because we don't want it to be an external command. Or if, you know, if you do want it to be an external command, whatever, you can leave it there. No big deal. Um, and then we're gonna move this stuff inside of that because the open caret in the or sorry. The less than and open than, or sorry, less than and greater than symbols are considered the comments for uh, this interface, right? That's good. Okay, and now we're gonna give it a shot. And we have it's booting up. So you're gonna see another one pop up in here just because you know, it showed. Um, actually, it might not. We'll see. You'll see my other test ones that I've done. Test one, test two, test three, test four. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And do we want hello world to do it? Um, I think this is not mine. There we go. This one. Load, do not load, do not load. I need to get rid of those. And then... If it's going to pop up. And of course, you know, definitely speed up this part so you're not waiting and we'll soon figure out how to edit my videos <laughs> student version oh yeah so that's another thing to note the student version does work with the plugins that you're trying to test so that's definitely helpful uh, Autodesk was nice enough to give me a year since it's normal um, you know because this whole COVID thing just easy to go on their website just, um, go through all the stuff and fill it out and then ask for the program and they give it to you and we give you the serial key and the product number. All right, so here we go. We have our tab right showing up right there, so that's great. And then... We go in here, and then here's our button. And... Oh, God. That wasn't supposed to happen. 
Hey guys, so I got it working. Um, turns out the issue was uh, the add-in name, which I'll show you in a second. So I got it working. So it's here, click that, boom, it goes. Okay. Uh, I ended up having to rebuild the entire thing, so it's called Hello World. Um, but let me show you how it's done real quick. Uh, so you go to, so it's this name right here, right? Application name, and then if you go over to app, right, you'll see this, right? So these names, Hello World, and the other one need to have the same name. Okay, turns out that's important. Um, so I ended up having to rebuild mine. Uh, I made it without spaces. Um, and yeah, so now it works. Um, anyways, yeah, so that was freaking easy. I figured, I thought I'd edit out and rebuild it and show the video perfectly, but then that's like half the problem is that you don't know what why the error came up. So if I ever come across any errors, I'm gonna try to leave them in the videos and then just show you how to fix them. All right, so again, there you go. So we got the title, right? Instruction and then main content. We have all three buttons just like we kind of wanted. All right, great. Thanks, guys. Also, feel free to um, like and subscribe. Um, and then, of course, you know, put any suggestions that you'd like to see uh, in the videos. Um, and then uh, I will also include anything that helped me get through this tutorial in the show notes. All right, thanks, guys.